Hello everyone, welcome here to Musicians Edition. I'm Evan on the piano and we are feeling the Christmas spirit here at Musicians Edition. So we are gonna be learning Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer on the piano. So this is gonna be the main bit that starts off at the beginning of the song and that repeats throughout the chorus here. So go ahead, hop on your pianos and let's learn it. This is gonna be built off of two chords um, for the most part here until the breakdown comes in towards the end, then it's gonna do some more variations and other kinds of things. But for the most part, we just need to know two chords for this. Um, we'll be putting the sheet music up here or you can just follow what my fingers do as well too. Um, for those who wanna look at the sheet, we're gonna look at the key signature. So we see four sharps and that's always gonna tell us that our four sharps are going to be F, G, C, and D. Uh, so instead of playing C or D or F or G, we're going to play those as sharps um, and we're going to see that with our first chord here because our first note there is going to be a B, then we have an E, and it's telling us G, but we're going to play it as a G sharp uh, because that is one of our four sharps. So that's our chord right there. And for those who want to know, this is an inversion of an E major chord where our B is brought an octave down. So this is gonna be our first chord. We're gonna play this six times to get it started. And it's gonna be like this. Okay, that's our chord. Uh, we're gonna play that six times and we're gonna switch over to our next one. Uh, our next one is gonna be having one note in common that's gonna be E, we're still gonna stay on. We're gonna play C, but as a C sharp, and then we're gonna play A. So these are our three new notes, C sharp, E, and A. We're gonna play this four times in that same pattern with two quarter notes followed by the half note. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's what we're gonna do, go back and forth with those. So that first one, B, E, G sharp six times. That's our six bars there. Then we shift over to our second chord for four bars. Two, three, four. And back to our original chord two more times. All right, so that is six on this one four on this one, back to two more on this one here. So let's go ahead and play that uh, one time all together here. So remember our two chords, be able to switch between those nice and quick. That E is always going to stay with that same finger with whatever finger combinations you guys are playing. Uh, you might be using your pinky, your ring finger, your middle finger, whatever is comfortable for you. But figure out that shape and just practice those two movements. It's not too hard. All right, I'm going to count us in. One, two, here we go. All right, and something is going to happen after that. Let's go ahead and look at what comes next. So we're sticking on B. But instead of E and G, we're going to shift down and we're going to play B to D sharp to F sharp. So this right here, with whatever finger combination works for you. All right, so we're going to hold this for the entire bar. That is our four beats. So one, two, three, four. And look what happens next. We do the same thing. And then we are going to go ahead and look at our next part. And after two hits of this B major chord here, what we're going to move to is G, which we're going to play as a G sharp, B, and that last note is an E. So this is one chord we're going to be thrown in, and this is just the same as uh, the same notes we played for this chord here. The one we started off with, but now it's just the G is also moved down. So it's an easy way to remember. It's the same notes, just a different G. So we go from two hits of this to right here. 
G sharp, B, and E. And we're almost done. We just got two more measures after this, and then we're all done with this. Uh, our next one is going to be A. We have a natural symbol on there that is on D. So instead of D sharp, we're going to play D natural. And we're going to play F with the sharp still. So A, D, F sharp for a half note, so two beats, that so we're gonna move over to A, C, which is gonna be C sharp, and E. So that movement's like this. Okay, A, D, F sharp, to A, C sharp, E. All right, we're almost there. These extra chords at the end make it a bit more challenging, but we'll get it down. We finish it off with one more hit of our main chord, B, E, and G sharp. So this breakdown all together here, B major chords, two times, then we went to our other inversion of the main chord, G sharp, B, E, and we go to our two with A, and finish it off on one big one of the chord we know, right there. All right, one more time here that is a bit more connected. All right, go ahead and practice all of those movements there. Make sure you can move between those chords, and we'll do it together in time here. Okay, let me count us in. One, two, here we go. practice that at your own pace that is for sure the hardest part to this so feel free to slow that down uh, and make sure you just work on those movements and where your fingers are going to go for all those so we can remember all those chords we gotta hit finishing off right there and for those who are ready we're going to go ahead and put this all together here and then we are all done with this one this is the main part that's played during the chorus of so grandma got run over by a reindeer so let's go ahead and hear it all together now so starting from the top, this is what we should have. All right, let's go ahead and play that one time together a bit slower. Uh, making sure we can connect everything together. So we did our two parts, the one with the six hits of this guy, four hits of this one, back to two of this. And then what came after is that next set of chords. We did this B major chord twice. So these parts are just gonna go back to back. And let's go ahead and try that all together. If you're missing any of those parts, make sure you rewind and practice those. We're gonna do our full playthrough here a little bit slower. Make sure you can match it up with how I'm doing it. So let me count us in here. One, two, here we go. and that is grandma got run over by a reindeer uh hope that is a good one for you guys to be able to pick up for the holiday season here have fun playing and we'll see you next time